<laughs> Jeez. Uh, we are back at St. George, Utah. We're with Thomas. Uh, came out here all the way from the great state of Tejas with the Texas contingent. And this is his ringer. This is built from plans from the uh, outer zone. Uh, they have a bunch of old timey plans. So, what, how big a motor is this thing, Tom? What's that? How big a motor is this That's thing? Speed 400 class. Speed 400, all right. And yeah, well, how big a battery? Uh, 1300, and it's got like a 7 by 3 and a half prop. Oh, okay, so a 1300, 7 and a half by 3 prop, probably like a what, a 30 amp ESC, if that? Uh, it's actually got a 25, I think. Yeah, okay, okay. And the next thing in the box, I reached it. This thing flies amazingly well. It's kind of dodgy. And the faster you go, the, it, it becomes more stable. Like really? The air is guided by the tubes and it wants to stay going straight. <laughs> okay. Is this Jeez. one of the things you guys have seen out here? It's a kit built plane? It's a scratch built. Or a scratch built? Yeah, well, uh, correction. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, no. You're right. You're right. Scratch built. Um, the ringer from our friends at the Outer Zone. Look at this thing. So, so the the outer. Okay, it the, that's the last the tail one has, acts like a rudder and elevator. No, okay, and the the wings act like ailerons. No, aileron, wings are just wings. They're just there. Okay. So it's a three channel. Yes. Okay. Wings do nothing except provide a little bit of, of inefficient lift. <laughs> I love it. This kind of proves that you don't have to have airflow to fly. Yeah. Fly yeah. Pack and deflected air. There you go. That's it. Yep. Yep. I'm kind of going against the pack. Yeah, it's different. I got sidetracked. Yeah. Which way are people taking off now? Wind's picking up a little bit, but nothing crazy. Landing from the kind of off my left shoulder, so yeah. a couple more laps, I'm going to land left or right. I think that the Piper's landing left or right. Land pretty slow? Yeah. You kind of run out of control before. Oh, do you? It's really weird when it comes straight at you. It's like it's not there anymore. Yeah. Like this. Boop. Hey, oh man, it does disappear. Yeah, it does disappear. Yeah, go ahead. And I'm gonna land behind you. As soon as you're clear, no rush. It's like more of a pattern with this, but I'm trying to avoid people. Now I can't fly it. Well, I threw it in the truck at the last minute. I thought people might enjoy it. Everybody sees it, likes it. Oh yeah. It's like entering entering the surreal. It just, it's just one of those novel airplanes that proves anything will fly. Correct. Is that jet well clear to the right? All right. All right. I'll land as soon as you're done. Perfect weather for this thing. It sure is. It's beautiful weather. It's always it's always gorgeous weather here in St. George this time of year. Just perfect. <laughs> well, you greased it, Tom. You greased it. Wow. All right. <laughs> great, great job, Tom. Great job. The ringer. The ringer. It's a ringer. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, we're at St. George, Utah. We're at the John Morgan Electric Fun Fly, the 2024 variety. That unique airplane is a scratch built, uh, built from plans provided by the Outer Zone. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.